Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. calling Marineville. Go ahead, HQ. It has been reported at approximately position west 2600, reference 9. The jetliner Arcadia has mysteriously sunk with all hands. This is a WASP assignment. I want you to begin an investigation, Shore. What have we got to go on, sir? Well, Arcadia's last radio call reads, proceeding in heavy fog, foreign vessel sighted, appears to be ancient galleon. There, the message was terminated. An ancient galleon? That's what I said. We don't know what it means any more than you do, but we're hoping you'll soon find out. Now check back when you have any information. The Arcadia sunk. I can't believe it. She was a fantastic vessel. This ancient galleon report, Commander, what do you make of it? Well, the message did mention heavy fog. Could be they were mistaken about the galleon. Yeah, you know, maybe it was an old wreck. The fog would distort the view. But fog in that area of the Pacific is a mystery in itself. Well, we're not going to find the answer standing here. Get to the standby room, Troy, phones, and alert Marina. I'll join you in Stingray when I've briefed Atlanta. You mean you're going too, Father? That's a little unusual, isn't it, sir? So is the sighting of an ancient galleon in this day and age, Captain. Galleon or not, there's a vessel out there that could be hostile. And you may need a boarding party, so I'm coming along. Any objections, Captain Tempest? Why, no, sir. Glad to have you aboard. Okay, then. Cut the gas and prepare to launch Stingray. Power from Stingray. Seaborne. Okay, Troy. Good luck. Rate 6 acceleration. Rate 6 acceleration. Set course, position west 2600, reference 9. West 2600, reference 9. Acceleration rate 6. Check. Rate 6. Okay, Troy. Switch to automatic bosun. There are a few details I want to discuss with you about this mission. What's our estimated time of arrival at investigation zone? 
All right, present speed, four and a half hours from now, sir. They've been gone over four hours now, and according to their last report, they're about a half an hour away from the investigation zone. Yeah, lucky dogs. Sure, it could do a little combat duty for a change. Well, sir, we'd better be getting back to the controls. We're approaching the area now. Right. Start a sound scan, phones. If there's anything up there on the surface, I want to know about it. Troy? I'm getting a reading. There's a vessel on the surface, and it's a big one, too. Give me a surface video scan, phones. Let's take a look. <laughs> On. I can't see a thing. Wait. This dense mist. Commander, there's a thick fog on the surface. And the weather reports gave perfect visibility. Okay, Captain, get up there. There's something mighty strange about this setup. Stand by the surface. Blow one. Blow three, five, and seven. Blow three, five, and seven. Fog, all right. Can you see anything else, Captain? No, sir. Nothing. Wait. Yeah, green zero zero two. It's a galleon. An old-fashioned sailing ship. I can hardly believe it. Uh, is it a wreck, Troy? Mm, she looks seaworthy enough. Can you see any sign of life aboard, Troy? No, sir. She looks deserted. I'll give her a call on the loud hailer. Oi there! Anyone, Anyone aboard? aboard? Is there anyone on board? Huh. It's like talking to a ghost ship. Okay, Captain. I'm going across to her. Right, sir. I'll get ready to come with you. No, Captain. Your place is here in Stingray. Phones will accompany me. Yes, sir. Well, okay. Jump to it, Phones. Good luck. Thanks, Tron. I've got a hunch we're all going to need it. Stingray to Commander Shore. Risk radio check. Do you read me? Receiving you loud and clear, Captain. Proceeding to investigate Gallium. We are now aboard the galleon. Roger, Commander. You take the bows, Bones. I'll check the stern. Okay, sir.
gun ashore to Stingray. The top deck is clear, Troy. So far, so good. How about the cabin, sir? Anything there? We're just about to check, Troy. Did you get that phone? P.W. Oh, all, Commander. I'll meet you at the main cabin. Gee, Marina, I wish I was on that galleon. I just know they're going to run into trouble. I feel so helpless sitting here. Okay, Foles. Let's take a look inside and watch your step. Look there, Foles. The table's set for a meal. Yeah, and it's half eaten. The food's still warm. That means there must be someone aboard. Yes, sir, but, but where? Hey, what was that? Pull yourself together, man. What goes on? Troy, we've got trouble. Commander, what's happened? We're being lowered into the depths of the galleon. I'm leaving Stingray right now. Stay right where you are, Troy, and await further orders. But Commander Shore, it must be a trap. Get out of there, fast. Not a chance, Troy. We're gonna see this thing through. There's no turning back. And remember, stay right where you are. Stingray to Commander Shore. Come in. Why don't they answer, Marina? What could have happened to them? What was that? It came from behind that door. Throw down your weapons, Terranians. Or you will die. Play it cool, Phones. Maybe a bluff. The next shot will be aimed at your hearts. Now, obey my command. Drop your weapons. What do we do, Commander? Guess we have little choice. Now what? You have walked into my trap like flies into the spider's web. Now, watch. <laughs> you Terranians cannot resist the lord of an ancient galleon, can you? I get it. The footsteps, the half-eaten meal, all planted to get us interested. Yes, Commander. And there is no escape. This part of the ship is watertight. Okay, so we're trapped. Who are you and what do you want with us? My name is of no consequence. My home is beneath the ocean, and I want the destruction of you and Captain Troy Tempest for crimes against the advancement of the underwater peoples. You've hooked us, okay, but how do you propose to get Troy Tempest? You will help me. You will call him and make sure he comes to my galleon, or you will both die. And if we refuse? <laughs> the end will be the same. Stingray will be blown from the waters. My ship is equipped with powerful cannons. The jetliner Arcadia found that out before I sunk her. It would be better to obey me. Phones, I think he means what he says. You know the law of the wasps that governs this kind of situation, don't you? Yes, sir. I guess I do. Are you prepared to obey that law? I, I guess so. Good. You're a brave man. Very well. I will call Captain Tempest. That is better. And no tricks. Sure, to Stingray. Do you read me, Captain Tempest? Well, it's about time, sir. What's going on over there? No questions, Troy. Just listen carefully to my instructions. You will start Stingray's engines and maneuver into a favorable position. Then you will release Sting missiles one, two, and three and blow this galleon out of the water. Is that clear, Captain? But, Commander... You and Phones are still aboard that ship. Both Phones and I are aware of that, Captain. This is an order. Destroy this ship. Do you understand? You fools. You leave me no choice. Hang on, Marina. Flood Q! Commander, 
We're going down. Yes. My ship is equally effective beneath the sea. Not quite. Stingray's missiles have a greater range than yours. Shot a Stingray. Get clear and release missiles. That is an order. I'll get clear, okay. But how can I destroy you and phones? Order or no order, I just can't do it. Captain Tempest, do you know the penalty for disobeying orders? Destroy this vessel. But Commander Shore, guess I haven't got the guts. I'd rather face a firing squad than kill you and phones. You can't ask me to do it. I'm not asking, Tempest. I'm ordering. Can't you see you're wasting your time, Commander? Tempest will never fire the missiles while I have you prisoner. Captain Tempest, I have your colleagues at my mercy. If you are not aboard this ship in 20 marine minutes, they will die. That is all. Gee, what a situation. How can I just let them die? I've got to think. And think fast. Marineville calling Stingray. Marineville calling Stingray. Tower from Stingray, come in, please. Routine check, Troy. Is there anything to report? Plenty, and there isn't much time. I'm sorry to have to break the news to you like this, Atlanta. But your father's being held prisoner on an alien ship. Phones is there, too. The commander's ordered me to destroy it. You can't do that. That's right, I can't. I guess I'll have to surrender. If only I could figure a way to get them out of there. Wait a minute. I think I've got an idea. You remember that emergency Aqualung procedure dreamed up by HQ Atlanta? But isn't it risky? We've never tried it. Yeah, it's risky, Atlanta. But so's the whole crazy situation. I'll call you back later. Maybe. Wish me luck. I do, Troy. I really do. And please be careful. <laughs> marine minutes, the harpoon guns will be released by a timing mechanism. When Tempest arrives, I will stop it. If he doesn't arrive, you will both die. You might as well get it over with. Troy isn't coming. He's gonna blow you and this ship to eternity. I don't think so, Commander. Troy Tempest has heard my scheme. How about it, Captain? Are you going to fire your missiles? Or are you going to stay on Stingray? Either way, you will lose your companions. Okay, you win. I'm going to swim across to the galleon. Right, Marina. Let's have the pill. I sure hope it works. You see, Commander, Captain Tempest is surrendering. He's just leaving Stingray. If we ever get out of this, I'll see that he's busted. I'm on the deck. What now? The airlock entrance is towards the stern. No tricks, Tempest, or your friends will suffer. Guess we're all finished now. There was at least a chance for Troy, if it obeyed orders. Yeah, but you should put Troy in his spot. Tempest has entered the airlock. Welcome, Captain Troy Tempest. Okay, I'm here. Now release them. Put down your air tanks. You won't be needing them. There are just eight marine minutes left. You didn't really believe that I would release them, did you? Why, you double-crosser? You're a fool, Tempest. It's your fault this ship is still in one piece. <laughs> Do not worry, Commander. 
The captain will be punished. I will see to it. He will be taken to my underwater city, and his death will be even more prolonged than yours. Such is your fate, Terranian. Who are you to interfere with the plans of the underwater civilization? Five marine minutes left. What did you hope to achieve by surrendering, Troy? You can't help us. No, they are beyond help. This pistol says so, Tempest, and don't be deceived. It is very powerful. Well, Fawns, we got about three minutes left. I don't see that that's anything to laugh about, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I must admit, yeah. you are brave to laugh at certain death. <laughs> yeah. This isn't funny. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Bones, what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, sir. Stop laughing. <laughs> What's wrong with him, Troy? Later, Commander. <laughs> that sure was close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were almost dead then, sir. <laughs> but what happened, Troy? Why can't I stop laughing? HQ's emergency air tanks, Commander. One of them contains laughing gas. <laughs> laughing gas? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you took the antidote, Tempest. It sure works great. <laughs> well, I guess they'll be out until I've towed this galleon back to the States. It'll be great in the Maritime Museum. And as for you, you'll go on trial for what you did to the Arcadia. Now, to get back to Marineville. You are further charged with flagrant insubordination and failure to carry out specific orders while on active duty. Do you understand the charges? Yes, sir. Is there any reason why you should not be forwarded to answer them at a court-martial? No, sir. I have no excuse. No, Tempest. There is no excuse. And there is no defense. Except maybe your act of extreme bravery in capturing single-handed an enemy vessel. Also, the gallant plan to rescue your colleague phones. And, of course, we mustn't forget the rescue of your commanding officer. Namely, myself. And I want to add one thing, Captain. Thanks. It's men like you that make me proud to command the World Aquanaut Security Patrol. A beautiful mystery 
I'm certain to fall, I know Because you enthrall me so Why don't you say that you'll always stay close to my heart? 